Hi and welcome to the recap of the final week of Camp NaNoWriMo. My goal in Camp NaNoWriMo was to edit four chapters from my current work in progress, which I'm calling Project Prehistory. It's a dual point of view coming of age story set in a prehistoric matriarchal society, and I'm working on the fourth draft. On week three of Camp Nano, I started editing chapter seven. That's the chapter that needed the most changes in the entire manuscript. Uh, on that week, I finished the first scene, basically rewrote the whole thing. I talked about that process in my previous vlog, and on week four, my goal was to finish chapter seven. Now, in the previous vlog, I was like, yeah, scene two, it will be so easy. I only need to make a few minor changes. Well, it turns out minor doesn't mean easy. I started editing scene two on Monday and worked on it the entire Tuesday. I finally finished the scene on Tuesday evening and moved on to scene three. I had thought that the last two scenes of the chapter would have been full of problems as I changed the order of those scenes and I needed to make them make sense in their current order but they actually turned out relatively easy. So on Wednesday I edited scene 3 and started scene 4. No major problems there, even though I needed to write a completely new beginning to scene 3 and I also needed to change a lot of the dialogue as it was referencing things that hadn't happened yet. But mostly I could just get away with deleting stuff, as some of the things are mentioned in later chapters as well. Scene 4 was also surprisingly easy. I started it on Wednesday and finished it on Thursday morning, which meant that I had time to read chapter 8 and start editing it on Thursday. Chapter 8 was a much easier chapter to edit. The first scene only needed to be condensed because there was a lot of unnecessary world building and explanation. I continued with chapter 8 on Friday evening and finished uh, scene 1 then, but majority of Friday I worked on another project. Besides project prehistory, on Camp Nano I wanted to edit two short stories. To recap a little on what I've done with the short stories in the previous weeks, on week 1 of Camp Nano I read the stories and made notes on what needed to be edited, on week two, I edited one of the short stories. It's an urban fantasy or paranormal story. On week three, I started editing the second short story, which is a contemporary women's fiction. I edited about one third of it on week three. So on Friday of week four, I switched again to the second short story and continued editing it. I edited about one third of the story again, 1750 words, and then on Saturday I edited the last third of the short story and finished it. There's one thing I maybe want to fix, a small addition I want to make, but I wasn't sure where to add it, so I decided not to do it now. I need to read the text again anyway, so it's not a big deal, and also I need to read the other short story again. I'll do that sometime in May, and then I can hopefully start thinking about publishing them. I hit 25,000 edited words on Saturday, but I obviously didn't remember the film The Confetti and Whatnot on NaNoWriMo website for winning Camp NaNo. But here's my word count on Saturday. And that leaves us the final two days of April and Camp NaNoWriMo. On Mondays during camp I've only edited during the evening. This Monday I used for content creation, taking photos for Instagram and my blog. So here's a sneak peek of what I was doing. In the evening I continued editing scene two of chapter eight and then on Tuesday the final day of April, I walked the whole day on chapter 8. And I'm happy to announce that the final two scenes of the chapter went so smoothly that I managed to finish editing chapter 8. Tuesday was a great day, I edited almost 2000 words, and in total I edited 28,993 words during Camp Nano. So I can safely say that Camp NaNoWriMo was a huge success. 
Instead of the four chapters I wanted to edit from Project Prehistory, I edited five and that includes two of the chapters that needed the most edits in the entire manuscript. In addition, I edited two short stories and I think they're very close to being ready for publication. I'm excited to share the publication process with you in my future writing vlogs. I'm not exactly sure when that will be because honestly doing weekly writing vlogs has been quite time consuming. But I'll definitely keep you posted and I'll see you in my next video which will come out this Friday. It's my April reading wrap up and I have some good book recommendations for you so I'll see you then.